up everybody this is angry hippie lady and we are back for another episode of fallout 3 that's a men's restroom i'm pretty sure i'm a female i don't need to go to the restroom though apparently i need to go to the saloon though i have no idea what's going on guys uh, nova what do you need hi i'm looking for my father yeah i remember that man i saw him talking to moriarty that's how I forget I handsome men like that. Uh, enough with the tough chick routine. Tell me more. Give me more information or point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Uh, so it's a story with that ghoul. Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Uh, where'd he come from? He don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Um, do you ever, you know, work with him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well, I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Uh, why is Moriarty so hard on Well, him? the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? Let's see, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Uh, how much for a room? So what's it take to hire you? What are you saying about radio stations? Um, it's all this about, you know, that's the thing that popped serious? up. Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Um... What are you saying about huh? radio stations? Oh, you mean why was God banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes. There are two stations that broadcast. You just said there was only There's one. The Enclave station. Oh. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. So, I'm not really sure where we are in the timeline. Take care of yourself, hon. Um... Come on, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same. My, my. Oh. Just when I'd all but given up. I don't know who oh, you are. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you I don't like are you not already. a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. I don't like you. Yeah, if you got a point, make it. As you wish. I'm looking to employ an individual with no ties to Megaton. No interest in its future. Megaton is obsolete. The last vestige of a cobbled, desperate past. It needs to go away. I'm not gonna I just got out of the vault. I'm not about to kill a whole town. Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. Yeah, I kind of know. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. 
Megaton is under my protection. You're gonna have to leave now. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh. I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave as you suggested. Good. A traveler, eh? I told you, God, get out. The radio. The Enclave station comes That's in fine. That's secure for a reason. Galaxy News. Their signal's been sh- Lucy. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. Stop by to find- uh, in to find something to do. I, I can't speak. By something to do, you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that for Great. you. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message. I was a courier in another life. Settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Uh, where is it? Arfu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river... The Potomac River? What? Hold up. Where are we in the, in the States? We are in the States, correct? Yeah, because we were talking about the American government. So, uh, <laughs> no, where are we? Not really. Are we on the Maybe East Coast? Just aren't Am I going to start recognizing Whatever names and stuff? Oh, this is going to be so sure cool. Be appreciated. Uh, who else lives there? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. I'm trying to place my coffee mug as far away from the mic as possible. I'm, I'm back to drinking coffee. I'm sorry. Is there anything... Yeah, is what? there any danger? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> No, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Well, I'm fresh out of the vault. I don't know these things. Okay. I have to go. Hey, thanks again for doing this for oh, me. Lately. Nope, it still gotta slowly work my way out God of conversation. Damn, you. Well, hot Creel. damn. Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just Who's fine. Maggie? I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> sorry, who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty oh. bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Oh my goodness. Uh, what can you tell me? What do you do around here? What's the word around town? People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Well, unless somebody, you know, made it go down. Later, Gator. Bitch. After a while, Crocodile. Oh. Oh. Do a little quick save oh. real quick. Fuck. Gob. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh... Google, stop looking at me. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? No, are you kidding me? Uh, I haven't planned on it. Well, now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen. Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Aww. You're such a good person. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please, if you know anything about my father, you can tell me. 
know anyone else that can help me, I'd appreciate it. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Oh, I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him too. Dang it. I didn't want to talk to that guy. Got All a right. problem? No, Nova, I thought we were chill, girl. Where's Moriarty? Hello, Nova. Hello there, honey. Yeah, what the hell do you... Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. You've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. His accent's like a very bad fake Irish accent. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for my father. My God, it's you. The little baby girl, all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. What? It's been a long time, kid. Who are you? Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? You're lying, the vault's been sealed for 200 years. Yeah. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. What? Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. And I told me we were born in Vault 101. Oh, I wasn't born in Vault 101. That's complete bullcrap. And you know it. You're wrong. My dad never told me a lie. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Me and Dad talked about it all the time. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? Let's cut the, to the chase. Yeah, look, I just want to find my dad. You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops. Do I even have a hundred cops? Is yours. Pretty sure I don't. Very reasonable. Uh. I'll have a hundred cash. All caps. right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the caps to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Depends on the favor. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start following Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> okay. Um. Know anything about the outside? What can you tell me about Magaton? Um. What do you do around here? What's the word around town? I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing, she's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Lucy? Really? Have to go. We await our next meeting with bated breath. Okay, so I don't trust him. Bioshock did that to me, though. Bioshock has completely broken my trust of anyone. I really appreciate you doing this for me. I'm feeling better already. So she's probably scared about her hey, friends thanks again for doing this for me oh um so maybe that was if i didn't happen to talk to her on my own then that would be a good hint to you know talk to her otherwise um apparently i need to go out to springvale 
Uh, let's see, what, what other quests? Oh yeah, that's, that's doing the first quest. Uh, let's deliver Lucy's message. No, well, I didn't need to tap out of there. World map. Holy shnikes. No, I don't. Uh, what I want to do is go here and just the bomb. Yes, you're in it. So I gotta go somewhere over there. Whoa, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Do not walk backwards when you're like 20, 30 feet up in the air. That's how people die. Alright. It's... Oh, it's this thing. Oh, hello. Hey, you. you need explosives 25 or higher required. Okay. What? What's up? Me? Alright, so I have to do a thing for him. Deal with this uh, silver and spring. Yeah. Why? Okay, so we gotta go to Springvale. Look, give me any of your shit. Uh, so that Moriarty will speak with me. Uh, so that we can get things done. So let's go ahead and do that, because I, I, I don't know. I know in Fallout New Vegas that I did a lot of extra stuff, and, um, wandered around a whole lot and explored a whole lot, and I love, I love Fallout, but with as much crashing as we've had going so far, uh, I'm probably gonna follow quests a little bit closer than I have in the past. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Somewhere out here, eh? Hello? There's, there's somebody out here who maybe took some money from a guy, and I'm here now to make things right. I really want to know where on the map we are. I'm not totally sure. But I'm guessing somewhere on the east coast. Oh, is this... This is my house. Or not my house, but you know that. Who the hell are you? Ooh, hi. Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Maybe. He says you owe him that some cash. bastard. He's a, he's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, just give me the caps and I'll tell them you're gone. Tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob doing, you know, favors for guys. Uh -huh. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with a pig to seal the deal. Next morning, he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. Man, I can't trust no one in these games. She could be lying to me. He could be lying to me. Somebody's lying. Somebody is lying and I don't like it. I don't like that I have to make a decision here. You know what? Your caps, I'll tell them where you're gone. I'll tell him you're gone. You do that for me? Yeah. I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Whoa, 300? I'm chill with that. That's cool. This means it's probably gonna get copywritten. Gosh darn it. Um, I guess I could just fast travel there. Is there anything else I need to do out here while I'm... I keep on hitting M. Play too much Skyrim. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fast travel there. I wonder if he's gonna take all 300. That's a lot of caps. 300 caps. I expected only to get 100. Sweet. Is this the place? Door to Children of Adam? Oh, that's the uh, religious place thing. Of, um, I don't know. I'm a little bit lost. Help. Cut it out. Armory. No, I need. 
to get somewhere else. Um, I'm lost. I didn't realize that that was the bomb. That was a big bomb. Are bombs actually that big? I don't see bombs. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen one. Even like a model of one. Uh, is this not where I need to be? No, I need to go up here. I, w I walked all the way up here. And walked up this. And then I don't remember. Over here? That's the women's restroom. I don't need to go through the women's restroom. Is that the place? Is this the place? Is this the place? Oh, I'm so lost. Is this the place? No. Guys, I'm lost. Send help, please. <laughs> Where the heck did I go to talk to those people? Oh, Moriarty Saloon. That's the place. I just gotta find the right way. Cause I can't get in there from that direction for some reason. Yeah, there's the guy's restroom, so the front door's over here. This town is so messed up. Okay. Moriarty. What does he look like? Is this him? What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgettable I could probably do it on my own, but I'm going to ask. Uh, I took care of Silver Good. for you. I hope she got what she deserved. Uh... Wait, so... I don't want to be rude, but I want to know where my father is. Good. You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Alright, here's a hundred caps. Wait a second. I handle silver for you and you still want me to pay? Yeah. It's called economics, kid. You got something I want and I got something you want. Nothing's free. I told you the favor would earn you some caps if you really took care of it. Now fork them over. Fine, uh, here's your hundred caps. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. Um, okay. Well, that was kind of a waste, but anyway. I have to go. Don't let me keep you. So... We have a we have a head at least. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go here. So thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out everyone.